What's going on beautiful people? Today we're going to be doing the easiest tank I've ever made. Andy, why are you doing such an easy tank? Well, there's a lot of you out there that are just complete newbies with this and you maybe you want to do something really, really simple. Now, with the help of API, who are sponsoring this video, so thank you very much, guys, we're going to be building something super simple with some of their products as well to really help you along the way. My goal here is to make something that looks so simple that you can all do it, but it looks beautiful as well. Let's get going. Right, here is our tank. It is currently quite filthy. Oh, by the way, the discus will be featured heavily throughout the video. <laughs> First thing we need to do though is clean this tank up. It's really grimy. It's, it's quite hard to make out, but it is. Now, the best thing to do is get some, oh, where is it? Isopropyl, uh, propyl alcohol. <laughs> ISO alcohol, <laughs> a little bit of blue roll or paper towel, kitchen towel, whatever, you know, and just use that and that cleans it so, so well. It doesn't leave smear marks. It basically just evaporates away super clean. So this stuff is pretty cheap. And if you've got a fish tank, I recommend you get it because it all evaporates away. It's like completely fish safe and there's, you know, no danger at all to anything. Right, there we go, we're clean, well, we're as clean as I can be bothered to get it. At the end of the day, this isn't a fish tank cleaning channel, it's a building channel, let's get on with the build. First thing I wanna do is put a sort of clear background, not clear background, because that'd be nothing, a misted background on this tank. I think it will make everything else pop a lot better. Plus, I mean, how distracting is that gonna be the whole video? <laughs> Right, remember that is the sticky side facing upwards. The reason we're doing that is this is the best way to keep it flat, not get any dust in it, all that sort of thing. And now there's some weight to it and also the lubricant for when we flip it over and then we can squidgy all of that out. There we go, that is on, pretty much stuck. Not completely, it takes about a day to be like fully pull off sort of stuck. Um, I could remove it now if I wanted to and re repeat the process. That is the beauty of all of this. Now there's two options here. Either you run a blade all the way along the edge of each side and that gives you your finish. Or you can do what I do is put a metal ruler across it um, because my blades aren't massively sharp. I mean, you need basically brand new ones to be able to get that really good finish. And also I like to come in a little bit from the edge, just stops it getting caught on anything and getting flicked up later on. As long as you stick to the sort of darker areas, you won't even see the edge in. And then on the top lip, just get it as close as possible to that white line, all good. looking all professional now this is an opti white tank um, at this size they're not that expensive but the larger ones like the one behind me you know that can get pretty expensive but to be honest it doesn't have to be opti white does it it can be anything like you know glass box at the end of the day isn't it try and find one that's rimless if you can um, they just look better don't they they just they just don't distract from anything then if it's not rimless some of them you can just take off the plastic lip around the edge i know some of them you can do that but just don't do that unless you know you can <laughs> right we need a light though don't we i mean that's not gonna look good like that, is it? So I'm gonna fit a cheap light to it, trying to keep everything sort of budget friendly so that it's like suitable for first time fish keepers, you know, that's that kind of thing. Right, there we go, the stage is set. Now remember at the start of the video, I said to you guys we're gonna be using some API products throughout the build. As I said, API are sponsoring this video. So one, some of the things we're gonna use, now don't, don't make no mistake, I'm not selling anything to you here. I use this stuff all the time anyway. So those of you who watch my channel regularly know this. Uh, I just, the start of every build, I start with API root tabs. Nice. 
Now these are great, you can either put them into an existing scape to sort of bring up the nutrient level in the uh, substrate, or you can do what I'm gonna do here is break them up and just sprinkle them at the base. Whenever I do like a brand new build, oh, let me just put these down. Oh. Whenever I do a brand new build, I like to crush them up and just sprinkle them down. Then later on in the build, we're gonna be using Aqua Essential. Now this is a new product from API. This is basically everything all in one bottle. It's super concentrated as well, so you don't have to use an absolute ton of it. Yeah, it's awesome. We'll talk more about it later, but basically it detoxifies ammonia nitrate, nitrite. It removes chlorine, chloramines, all the heavy metals, that kind of thing. It's good for fresh water and salt water as well. It's brilliant, it's just great stuff. Now I am doing another giveaway, so for your chance to win all of these awesome products, I need you to do a few things for me. Number one, click subscribe button and the like button for this video. Number two, go to my Instagram, follow that as well. And number three, type win in the comments below. Put a bit of information about you, you know, where you're from, um, what tanks you've got, that kind of thing. Just makes it a bit more interesting when we announce the, the winner. Anyway, that's enough of that for now. So first thing, let's get that crumpled up root tabs into the base of the aquarium. Just sprinkle it everywhere. Right, so I've sort of gone for it everywhere, but a little bit more at the back because that's where the plant is going to be for this tank. I want it super simple, remember? So nothing really in the foreground at all. Right, next up, I'm going to put a little bit of Aquasol right in that back area, just sort of piled up gently, and then we can cap on top of that with our sand and gravel. There we go, a nice little nutrient layer there. Now on top of this, we can cap it with sand. Uh, you, you don't have to cap Aquasol with sand, but I just want it to stay tidy. Otherwise it's all gonna come forwards and oh, it's gonna be a nightmare. So I'm gonna cap it all over. And then we plant our roots of our plants into this layer. So, you know, they've got ample nutrients. There we go, a nice tidy little layer of sand on top of the Aquasaur. And remember, you don't even need Aquasaur. You don't have to do Aquasaur with this. You can just use the root tabs and thicker sand, but it does work better with it. There's no way around it. Like Aquasaur works so, so well. You know, your plants will grow much better and they'll still grow without the Aquasaur. They'll grow in the sand with the root tabs. They'll just grow better with all of it. It's like anything, the more you sort of add to the equation most of the time, uh, the better it kind of gets, which is why the costs tend to go up. So yeah, if you can't get hold of Aquasaur, don't worry, just do it with sand. Um, try not to go to really fine sand though. So if you look at the grain sizes against my finger, look, I would say that this is a coarse sand. Just roots seem to do better in sand that isn't completely compact. And because of this granule size, it doesn't compact. So, so yeah, we can see from the size here, I wanna put a little bit more in actually because it's gonna be hard to plant to that and keep the plants in. So I'm gonna add it up to about there, but keeping it sloping to the foreground so it looks like, you know, right up to the front of the glass. Like when you look straight on like that, it looks like it's the same, like a dusting all the way across, doesn't it? And it adds depth, but really, it's just an optical illusion. <laughs> Okay, there we go, the base is in. Right, next up, hardscape on top of the sand. Now, as suggested, we're keeping this really simple, one type of rock, just a couple of them, right in the centre, it's gonna look awesome. Now, you can use whatever type of rock you want, obviously, but just try and make sure they're sort of matching styles, styles, types, that sort of thing. Now, this is how simple it can be. I've only got two of this kind of rock, so let's make it work. <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking at that now thinking it looks really good. I'm actually really like it, it's only two rocks. But if you look in this section over here, I just feel like there's something small missing. Now I've got another rock, this one here, which doesn't perfectly match them, but I think it can work, especially when a little bit of algae build up on it and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna place it just in this little area here. And hopefully, we can get that to look pretty good. How does that look? 
I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it just sort of brings it along a little bit more, cre creates a bit more naturalistic look. Maybe I need to push that one back slightly and bring it in a little, because it's quite far out. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah, for me, that's working so much better. Um, this one, maybe a slight bit of angle more. Just a little bit though, like that. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Douche, douche, douche. <laughs> I don't know what douche is. Uh, that's it, hard skip done. So next up on this one is the planting. Now I'm only going with two plants. Yes, I promise you, just two plants. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so plant one is this one. It is Cipherus, Cipherus Health Fairy. <laughs> it's that one. It's like a pampasy grass thing. How good does it look? And the good thing about this is it doesn't send out runners. It's like a rosette style plant, so it grows, you know, from the from the middle out, and it's got that really cool look to it. Yeah, it should grow nicely. It says it's a medium um, sort of category plant from Tropica. And I think that's based on the fact that it needs a little bit more light than your sort of easy plants. But I don't think it needs CO2 personally. I've grown it well without it. So yeah, I've got two pots of that, which should give us some really good coverage as well as it sort of loops over the top. Uh, so it's not too bright for the better fish that's going in here. Okay, how to get your plants ready for planting. So easy. Take that off, take that off. And then just pull away the rock wall like that. And then from the other side, I mean, this one is particularly easy. Some plants require a bit more effort than that. And usually you're left with this all entangled in the root system. Now take your tweezers or a fork or something like that. And all you've got to do look, is just pull away at that. You don't want to get all of this rock wall in your tank. It's full of nutrients from the growing process. There we go, that side done. A little bit more. Be gentle, try not to break up the roots as much as possible. And then there we go. We've got a collection there of sort of plantlets that we can plant. Um, you just split them nice and easy like that and the roots break apart. There you go. I want to keep them together as quite decent sort of size clumps so I'll break them off into sort of four or five sections with the two pots and that should be good. Okay, that looks a bit funny at the moment, but it should look a lot better than that when the water's, you know, in the tank because it lifts everything up and it should float across the surface, which is the look I'm going for. Next up, Monte Carlo. So a really easy plant to grow, to be honest. You don't need tons of light of it, but it does need some good nutrients, I find, in the, either in the water column or in the substrate because you can plant this on rocks and it'll grow, uh, but it tends to do better with some kind of fertilizer. Well, most of these plants will grow without fertilizers, without CO2, without highlighting, but it's the degree in which they do it. So we've got a half decent sort of light here, giving that a good, a good amount of power. Um, and we should get some great growth to be honest. So yeah, Monte Carlo in all the gaps and all around sort of tapering off. Right, that's it. That's where I'm staying for now. Let me fill up with water. Let's see how it looks. If we need to add something, we will, but hopefully not. Oh, there we go. It does not get more simple than that, but it does look really good, doesn't it? It's so sort of contemporary, but imagine this in a minute with a really brightly colored better fish as well. But first of all, we need to fit a filter. Now, many of you know I've done tanks in the past where you don't have a filter and the plants do all the filtration, but with this low sort of plant mass, that's not even an option to be honest. So yeah, I've got a nice little hang on the back filter to go on here and that should work a treat. Right, that's it, job done, right? We can put the fish in. No, 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 not yet. First of all, what I was talking about earlier, the aqua essentials, now that's gonna take all the chlorine, chloramines, heavy metals out of the water we've just put in because that's brand new tap water. You can also use it later on uh, for, to detoxify like nitrates, nitrite, 
and ammonia, which will be absolutely perfect in a new setup when you're doing your you know, initial water changes. But also this is a brand new system. Um, the filter's got some media in it already, but I've just washed it all off. And basically there's no beneficial bacteria in the system at all. So for that, I always use Quick Start. Whenever I set up a new tank, Quick Start straight away. Um, I continue to use it for about a week to be honest just to make sure everything's good because most of the time I do a fish in cycle which means you know one sort of fish goes in the tank, uh, produces ammonia, we use the quick start to get basically get the beneficial bacteria growing, multiplying and yeah after about a week you can just carry on as normal. But I've been using Quick Start for well over a year now. Um, I was using all these products, by the way, before API even sponsored me. So that's when you know that you've got quality stuff. But yeah, Quick Start for about a week, and I've never actually suffered any losses with my fish when I do it this way. All you gotta do is just follow the instructions on the bottle and just keep up with your water changes when you do a new setup. Right, there we go, we've removed toxins from the water with our Aqua Essential and we've added beneficial bacteria with the quick start. We can now put our fish in. really looking good I love that that's perfect so better fish like something to rest on near the top of the water they've got it there um, and also they don't like too much light so that's giving it a good level now you might need a heater for your better fish if your temperature of your house is low or you live in a cold country so I heat this whole entire space that we're in uh, it's much more efficient than heat heating each tank so that's why I don't need one but you know a little heater in that back corner there it wouldn't look bad at all, would it? I don't think it'd take too much away from the tank, personally. And if you've got a black background instead of a clear one, you wouldn't even see it. But I do like the clear ones, I think. I keep saying clear, I mean misted. <laughs> but yeah, look, better, better fish is right in the flow there of the uh, of the filter, and it's not an issue at all. Remember, better fish like low amounts of flow. I mean, they're not the most streamlined fish, are they? So they'll just get battered and <laughs> and end up all around the tank if the flow's too high. Right, you could stop right there. Like, if that's what you want to do, there we go, mission accomplished, two, two uh, plants only. But I've got a, a little bit of detail that I think if you wanted to spend a little bit more money, get an extra plant or two, you can make it look really good. So out in this section here is my plant storage area. Now the plants I'm talking about, this is Rotala rotundifolia. But because there's a good amount of light hitting those uh, leaves, they go sort of pinky and look really nice. And I've actually attached them. So I basically, these are just trimmings from another pl planted tank. And I just bunch them together and put them in this little bit of ceramic disc that you get with your plants when you order them. I think one of these would look really good in that middle section just behind one of the rocks. Let's give it a go. absolutely nailed it hasn't it i'm so glad i did that it's really given it a whole nother dimension super neat and simple scape again that's that's deliberate that's why we've done this and you might also notice guys i've left uh, quite a big gap from the top there it's a good inch to an inch and a half with no water that's to stop any jumping i mean i'm fortunate that this better fish that i've got here i've had in multiple setups now and it's never jumped at all so we're all good for me but just make sure your fish doesn't jump i used to have a lid um, but I just noticed that one day I forgot to leave it off for quite a long period. There's no issues, never been issues since. So I've probably had this better fish for, ooh, what do you think? It'll be a year in December, so yeah, like 10 months so far, and it's never jumped out of any, any scapes that I've had. Yeah, look, he's just getting around now and exploring everywhere after that initial shock. <laughs> it seems to be exploring quite nicely. So yeah, I've deliberately left all those different areas for him to go into. He can get right behind, can come underneath this swooping area. So just think about that with a better fish. They're clever little things, so they need something to interact with. But, you know, you don't have to overthink it. But I think we've done a nice little setup there. Look really good in anyone's sort of display. Or in your living room or on a table or on a desk or something like that. It's just the right size for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 